Where can I find out about the cost? Like how much, yeah, different, yeah, different procedures or packages like that? Um, everything, honestly. Uh -huh. You can uh, go in each clinic. Ah, uh, yeah. so each department, yes. you have different pricing. Yes. Ah. Do you have like at least a pricing for like health checkup or something yes, like this? Yes, have only the, the price of the checkup. Okay. Alright guys, so I can't get a pricing for everything, but the pricing for the health checkups is pretty standard for Bangkok. The basic package, as you see on the left, uh, goes from 2 to 3 hours, includes all the doctor fees, etc. And uh, it covers a lot of processes or procedures. Um, be aware that females, uh, there's a bit of a cost, and you'll notate that they have additional like procedures and checkups that they can do. All right, guys, I'm at the tenth floor, which is where their business centers are supposed to be. Super fancy. I'm like lost right now. I'll have to ask around. Oh, nice. They're offering me. Uh, <laughs> Nice beverages? <laughs> right, it is some kind of tea. Oh, okay. Right. Thank you. Very good. Alright, this is a business center over here, guys. Popular um, uh, hospital here, you think? It depends that you stay in which area. Yeah. And when we come to the hospital, somebody, we treatment from father, mother, grandfather, mother, so we continue with this hospital. For new generation, somebody, they want to try every hospital, hospital and then choose the one that they like the most. Uh, so I cannot recommend an hour. That's, that's an honest answer. Yeah. I'm guessing then Smetivej popular with Japanese here, maybe Westerners, <laughs> right? And Eastern. Uh, Middle Eastern. Mid Middle Eastern. Are popular here. Actually, I live by Piavet, and they seem to be very popular in Middle Eastern. Yeah, but not that much. Not that much? Because the, here, because we have in the food area. Oh. You, you know, the Nana Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very good convenient. For the Middle East people. Oh, because they have. The that's food, right, yeah. The food and the hotel. I think Smetivej is very popular with Japanese, so it's Tanglor. And that area is for the Japanese yeah. people. They are not there. Ah, okay. And Smetivej, they're famous about the children. Oh, Sumitavej and Sinakarin are popular for children. Yeah. Ah. Like that they try to bring something else standing for ah. to show them. So like there is the food at this one. Oh, so what is your hospital's outstanding? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good answer. <laughs> You got the very yeah. best doctor here. You got the very best doctor. I keep hearing this. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Have a nice day. Uh, okay. Alright guys, uh, so just finished talking to that lovely lady at the business center and I uh, got a lot of clarifications and uh, even corrected some misconceptions about what I had. They're telling me that they're very popular with um, obviously Westerners and the Middle Eastern um, clientele because it just yeah sparked in my head that Nana area is it's like basically Middle Eastern town. and. Um, Obviously in Anna, there's a lot of Western tourists. So this is possibly the most conveniently located area out of all the major hospitals that I'm aware of. And here, it's definitely world class. I mean, don't take my word for it, just search. Bumrungrad, uh, Siri Raj, Bangkok Hospital. They're always ranked way up there as one of the top hospitals in the world. If you had any misconceptions about uh, Thailand's medical service not being top notch, I hope this clarifies it. it is one of the top 10 uh, medical tourism destinations and you can see why. So now I'm at Param 9 or Rama 9 hospital. This hospital is located much closer to where I live, although I'm in a position where I have a problem, not of scarcity, but of too many choices because right next door to me is Piavet, uh, which I probably won't visit, but the uh, <laughs> reason for that is, is having lived out here long enough and when you date enough girls, you'll notice that almost a third of them are in the medical industry or a third of them in the airline industry and 
third of them in the manufacturing engineering industry because that's what Thailand focused on so you know like almost one out of every three girls I would ask which hospital is good because this, this is the thing that I'm concerned about honestly and uh, actually just overwhelmingly the main recommendation I got for the best hospital around my area for your budget etc would be Rama 9 they're like the hospital is a private hospital it's nice but the price isn't going to be as expensive as they would always say Bangkok Hospital. They would say Bangkok Hospital is the most expensive. Um, so anyways, that one's located really close to me too. <laughs> and if you ask my aunt who doesn't compromise on price, etc. but just wants the best care, she would tell you Smetivej is great. But you know, I've also um, talked to nurses who work at Suri Raj, which is also another really, really popular and big hospital around here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's the one that the latest king, Rama 9, was getting treated at. I mean, if, if they treat the king, I, I mean, that, it's, it's a good one. But I've heard from good sources, even doctors, to tell me the doctors that work here are sometimes the same ones that work at Bumungrad, etc. Because they work many different hospitals, so the care should be about the same. Hello, um, do you have uh, pricing for like medical checkup? Checkup? Yeah. A floor. Ah, oh, okay, okay. By the way, here you go, guys. Based on the headings of the different floors, you have an idea of what kind of treatments they have. All right, guys, I've just pretty much given up on trying to get prices for anything else here. Their English is not really that good. But I did get the health checkup prices. Okay, okay, okay. At first glance, it seems it's more expensive. 6900 for the basic one. Um, as opposed to 5,900 for the basic one at Bumengrad. But after you take a closer look, um, all of this actually is pretty much the same, such as like, um, you know, the physical examination, blood count, cholesterol count, lipid, kidney, liver function, etc. But this is where it makes a big difference here. Um, this one includes a uh, ultrasound of the whole abdomen and an EKG for the 6900. The only thing I can see here for the basic program that they have additional over Ramanayan Hospital would be the stool examination. So if you want to get your poop checked out, go to Bumengrad. But if you want an EKG and a whole abdomen check, come here. Now I'm not going to sit here and break down each of these for the executive and everything for you, but it does seem like it is sort of cheaper here. Honestly, at this point, I don't really see a clear winner to recommend to you guys. Um, since I'm new here, just based on the pricing, if something catastrophic were to happen, I think I'd probably still come here because I imagine if something catastrophic happens, like I'm in an accident or something, then I'm not gonna, ooh, is this the right floor? I'm not gonna be in a situation where I'm gonna be negotiating anything. I just want them to take care of it. Doctors should know. I mean, pain is a universal language, right? If I was a tourist and I just had it, like certain functions I needed to do, I, I might just pay the extra $50 or whatever. It couldn't be that much more, you know, to go to Bumrungrad because facilities look better, the experience is probably going to be better, and uh, they have plenty of English speakers that cater to foreigners. Uh, but if you have like long-term issues, uh, such as let's say you have cancer or something like that, that you need ongoing therapy for, then I think it's that's when it's worthwhile just going to each of these hospitals and checking out if they have um, like a good program for you, if you agree with the doctors and the treatment options they have. And uh, you know, I can't really do that. I, although I would love to provide that kind of information for you guys, I, I don't have cancer, I don't have all these ailing issues, so I can't really say what you should uh, <laughs> sort of uh, get. Anyways, oh man, that elevator was going up. It's quite hectic over here. Alright guys, I just wanted to give this place one last chance before I took off and completely different experience. I went to front desk and asked, um, you know, where would I go to get pricing for general information and they refer me to second floor which is customer relations here. 
and the Uzu Puga. All right, guys, uh, I ended up registering here at Ramanine Hospital. It's pretty pain free. Um, these are basically like the room charges if I was to be an inpatient. Um, they start from 4,200 baht for like a private room um, to 4,600 if I want a deluxe. But this is a price that you should probably be aware of, the total price, because it includes the hospital charge, the nurse charge as well, which is about a thousand to two hundred. In your hospital, how yes. much do you think it will cost for me to pay for insurance? Because they have many limits. I want to know what you may recommend. Um, for insurance. For insurance yes. companies you recommend. Okay. When I asked them like roughly how much it will cost to see a doctor, they say seeing a doctor, the charge is only 500 baht, which comes out to be like $16. Um, but I said, what if I get in a car accident? So I'm asking them, you know, is there like insurance companies you would recommend or a amount that you would recommend for your hospital? Because I really have no idea what it would cost to get in a car accident. I know they can't give me an exact amount, but I mean, I imagine they would know better than me or an insurance agent, so <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can get some answers. Huh. For men, AA uh -huh. call center, yeah. 1581. Yeah. Yes, Allianz, uh -huh. and Civit, Allianz uh -huh. Insurance, uh -huh. uh, 1373, uh -huh. Mem Thai Rai, uh -huh. 1766, uh -huh. yes, and Thai Rai Insurance. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. In your experience, is there one you know you think is better? Yes, it's the best here which, from Thailand. Which, which yes. one? Which one do you think is best? Um, <laughs> all same, same or? This, this same, yeah. It's all pretty much the same. They if, don't. If you want recommend for the accident? Yeah. Okay, recommend A A and Mueang Thai. Yes. For accident. Yes. Ah. For accident. How much do you think I need to pay if I get in an accident here in? This one, Yeah, like let's say I get in an accident. You think like 50,000 baht okay or too little, too much? What do you think? Uh, minimum for 50,000 yeah. until for 100,000. Ah, so you recommend at least minimum 50,000 but maybe recommend 100,000 in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Admit, yeah. Yeah. Go admit, X-ray, MRI. Yes, MRI. MRI is expensive. MRI expensive? Another, another. Oh yeah. Yes. How so much? How much is MRI here MRI roughly? For, uh, 10, Start ten thousand. Yes. Ah. <laughs> for for compared to America, very cheap still. <laughs> All right, thank you for that information, but you yourself, in your experience, AIA, Mong Thai, good for accident. Yeah. Ah, okay. You have one you recommend for cancer? Cancer? Yeah. Uh, recommend for cancer. Yeah, cancer. Uh, AIA, you think it's good? Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, yes. All right, thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, so just getting away from customer service and registration over there to the third floor to get my ID card but you know overall the people here are amazing like <laughs> I don't know this is all relative maybe you're coming from another country where healthcare is great for you guys but coming from America like even when I pay hundreds of dollars I don't expect this kind of friendliness etc now communication is a bit difficult but I will say my perception of the English speaking ability here has gone up a little bit, but you really can't match Bumbergrad. Like they're fluent over there. Like they're, f they're fluent English speakers. Um, you're not gonna have any problems communicating, uh, but it's good enough. I was I was actually scared. Like a lot of the people that recommended this place are like, hmm, maybe because you don't speak Thai, you're gonna have problems. Blah blah blah. I'll have to help you. Maybe, maybe that's that's the way that the girls are trying to like make you feel like you need them. But I was able to get most of this stuff done. Uh, I and uh, they have English speaking staff. You know, the worst push comes to shove, you'll be able to get stuff done. And uh, uh, as far as the fees, it does seem like it's cheaper here because they're saying doctor's fee five hundred. When I asked in Bumangrad, they're like start at a. 
thousand, but both hospitals aren't gonna really give you any solid prices, and I and I and I expect that because each doctor charges something different. That's what they say, and I, I totally get that. As like at Bumbungrad. I noticed that they have not only just Thai doctors, but I saw a bunch of foreign doctors, like Middle Eastern doctors, Western doctors. Um, here, though, I think it's more predictable because at least the staff—they're all Thai. It looks like, <laughs> I, you know. But like, especially at the health checkup place, I noticed a lot of Chinese, Japanese. Other foreigners. Although I didn't see a lot of Western expats, mainly Asian foreigners. But one thing I did do though is register my Tabian Ban. This is super helpful, but you can also bring your uh, work permit, they say, and that way it would be cheaper if something were to happen to you. At least that's what they say. I hope nothing happens where I actually have to confirm all of this, but. At least gives me peace of mind, and it couldn't hurt, you know, to have some like street cred. You know, I'm not, I'm not like some expat. I mean, or some tourist to be ripped off. It's just, yeah, I live here. Treat me like uh, your family. Oh wow! Oh oh, this is my name. Yes, your name. Is oh, do you wonder English version or the Thai version? Uh, it's okay. Thai is fine. <laughs> I, I mean, I just show it to you, so you read Thai. It's, it's okay. All right, thank you. Okay. All right. All right, guys, check that out. I have a registration card here from Ramanayan Hospital. Didn't cost anything, and uh, I don't know, it gives me a bit of peace of mind knowing that I'm gonna be sort of covered <laughs> if I have an accident. As you heard, uh, they sort of recommend anywhere from 50 to 100,000 baht accident coverage. Honestly, that's that's only accident coverage that is even available out here. Now, those of you guys who can do the conversion in your head, you already know that's like, what? Only $1,500 to $3,000 coverage for if you get in an accident? That's crazy, you know? Like, I could barely pay for a lab and a freaking cyst removal with insurance in America. I mean, that's, that's the copay that I used to pay, right? Um, but... Yeah, in Thailand, they, they really don't offer high coverage limits because obviously it's, they probably just doesn't cost that much, you know? So um, I'm gonna check with these insurance companies, but you know, I'll eventually do a whole video on insurance, but my stance is generally if the coverage amount is something I can cover in cash, such as 3,000 US dollars, you know, I'm not loaded, but I at least have a $5,000 limit on my credit card, which I know I can cover. I mean, I can scrounge up $3,000, guys. I, I mean, it's not an absurd amount. Now, if it gets to like 10,000, yeah, that's gonna be tough, but it's like, why would I get insurance for 3,000 US dollars? Even if I got like that top limit $100,000, uh, 100,000 baht, when, the premiums will equal that payout in only like three, four, five years. Yeah. Um, so that's why I tend to just think I only want accident insurance and not health insurance because that's the health insurance. The limits are much lower, like twenty thousand per incident, and um, the premiums are about four to five thousand baht a year. Which doesn't really make sense to me because, as you can see, I've never gone to a hospital. It's the first time I'm registering here after five years. I, I just procrastinated on it. I should have done it sooner. But it's like, I don't really get sick. And if I do get sick, I can just go to a pharmacist and they can uh, prescribe me something. Which is completely different than the system back in America because pharmacists... I don't even know why you have pharmacists. Like, why do they even go to school for this crap? Because all they need to do is just... Uh, I, I, you know, pharmacists might get offended, but it's like they have no power to tell you what kind of medicine you can get. All they are, I mean, is uh, yeah, I can see how it could get automated. It's just robots, right? This is a pill you need to give them. They give them a, a, a prescription and that's all they fill. So 
Over here, it's different. Pharmacists actually have ability to prescribe you medicine. So, I mean, modern medicine, most of it is just pills. So that's why I haven't really gone and seen a doctor and I've been fine. Um, so if I had insurance and I was paying 5,000 baht for the last four or five years, and I never once used it like I did, then I would have wasted 20,000 baht. That's how I see it in my head. And that 20,000 baht now is in my pocket. So if I do get in an accident, I'll use it for, you know, covering my accident. Uh, does this make sense? That, that's why I haven't been really quick to jump on um, health insurance per se. But for catastrophic incidents, if I can pay like 1,500 to 2,000, 3,000 baht a year to get covered for up to like 100,000 baht, then it's worth it. At least that's how I calculate it in my head. So I'll do a video on that, guys. I'm uh, getting out of Ramanayan Hospital right here. And uh, I just sort of wanted to show you guys how close it is to my condo. I think uh, Rama 9 is good. It's centrally located to where if I did have an accident, I'd probably end up near there. And uh, the prices seem good, you know? And beggars can't be choosers. Uh, if it's something like a thousand baht to check an issue, I'm willing to pay that. But when it gets to like a hundred thousand baht, etc., I sort of want to go somewhere where the price is not too high. But whatever the case, if you uh, found it helpful, you know, definitely subscribe, like, comment. It really helps out my channel. Uh, <laughs> we spent a lot of work on it, so it's just, uh, yeah. Any little bit of uh, help is really, really appreciated, guys. And, um, you know, be sure to comment below if you have any additional inputs. And if you're a Thai uh, viewer, and I have apparently quite a lot of them uh, i really appreciate like the additional input you guys put down there in the comment section because you know i'm learning too i'm not claiming to be some expert or something so i hope this was uh, helpful i just wanted to take a different approach to healthcare because you know i i feel like a lot of foreigners are addressing it like the way we address healthcare in america um, here it's a bit different health insurance doesn't have like these really high limits because healthcare is relatively reasonable. And uh, I think it's more important for you to find a hospital you're comfortable with um, before you start seeing what kind of coverages you need. I don't know, it makes sense to me. Oh. <laughs>